November 4th and 5th, Thursday and Friday. Okay, you guys, here's the deal. Double Scorpio. Mm, I had to wear my cashmere. First of all, it's a new moon. And people, when you hear double Scorpio, you get a little scared. And why do they get scared? Because there's a stinger. And when the Scorpio reaches that pitch of anger, they have no fear to attack. Now, the art is to say, I'm sorry, after it's over, but you got to mean it. During a double dark sky, a double Scorpio on Thursday and Friday, go in. Mars, as I told you yesterday, is going towards the sun over the next week. So we're going to have more and more strength in this energy. And this is the opportunity to say on Thursday and Friday, I always tell people under a new moon, you can stay home. Mercury's entering Scorpio on Friday. You can go in. There's that T-square that's been going on forever, releasing in Leo. We have Scorpio opposite Uranus, squared by Saturn, releasing in Leo until December 3rd. So everything I'm telling you about is intensity. I happen to love Scorpios. I even love when they get mad because you know what the best part is? They say everything we all wish we could say. They just blow up. And some of it's not true, but it's the backed up emotional. Ugh! Do you know that my video on YouTube, the most watched video is Scorpio because I get so sexy. I mean, the energy is all about yum and delicious and mean and nice. And I feel like Scorpios can be so mean and then they can be so nice and they don't mean to be mean. And even when they're nice, they kind of seem like they're mean. It's confusing because why? Intense energy. Thursday and Friday, be aware of intensity, permission to stay in. There's only one planet in fire and there's four planets in water. So it says highly emotional. Permission to be emotional. But here's the deal, you guys. Stay in. Don't push. Don't make yourself have to, because that's where it gets dangerous. And whose birthday is it? November 5th? Chris Jenner. The mother of mothers, the sexual, emotional, attractive, feminine energy that has her whole, it's like every Scorpio's mom's dream is to have all her kids living in her house with her forever. <laughs> That's Scorpio. The possessive part of us that wants to control the whole family unit, have an empire. That's funny. Double Scorpio, you have an empire. It's between you and your soul and your ability to manage the intense emotions because the moon is in Scorpio and the sun is in Scorpio and they're all squaring Aquarius, Saturn. So it's a tense time. And I want to challenge you during this new moon, shh, go get warm and fuzzy and take your time to go in and let yourself feel in silence. Because Scorpio's favorite thing mm, is the land of quiet. Astrology answers wanted me to tell you, shh.